Hey, everybody. Oh, I'm Amanda. I'm Kimberly. It's kitchen and it's friend. My kitchen. Welcome. Happy New Year. We're here. It's 2023. Oh, yeah. Surround shop. Oh, yeah. We got to be able to see it. Who's here? Yeah, photos. <laughs> What's still on? Oh, Charlotte was still on? Oh, you got it. Thanks. Listen, we're nailing it this year. This is actually our, our big announcement today. We are going to nail it this year. No, no. <laughs> I'm getting an Oreo. Subscription. Eight months in the kitchen. Eight months. Hi, Jojo. Oh my gosh, guys. It's so nice to see you. We got Blacksmith. We got Fet. We got Dehydrated Steam. Hello. And we're in the room. you guys. Oh, it's so nice to have you here. <laughs> I have proclaimed. We will nail it. Here. We did have a meeting the other night. It was really fun. It was mostly a hang and then also a business meeting. Um, Amanda gave me a presentation. <laughs> My French Ah, the big nerd. I did have a checklist for our agenda, but did we get it to everything? Yeah. Oh, okay. well, yeah. But you'll see now that channel points are now cookies, and they got a cute little cookie that I designed. Um, and we're gonna do some like we're gonna do some challenges and stuff. We're gonna do some. We're gonna add some some flavor to our baking stream. We're proud of that moment. <laughs> I thought of it like two seconds early. Um, it took me a second. Good job. Darling Blacksmith, I have always been a robot. I've just been really good at hiding it. Um, there's a reason I chose Adam as my life partner. But, you know, uh, I think for me, to stay, like, organized and structured, I need I need things like checklists. That's, that's my whole thing. So I want to make a very silly joke about robots? Please do. No, why not? I thought it was a wholesome, funny bit, and then I was like, that's... The sexual joke. Uh oh. <laughs> and as you might have noticed from the title of our stream today, we're doing party girl brownies, not salate brownies. Oh, that's just brownies. actually well, Jay stream the other day. He's like, what are we doing? Is that excuse me? Yeah. Here's the thing they are slutty brownies because they are made with chocolate chip cookie dough, brownie, and Oreos slash Reese's in the middle. They are decadent. And I've never had one. I have. Because when I learned they existed, I went yes to all of the above. They will make you sick. That they're very rich. But one time, what? I just remembered a time that I got sick from <laughs> Jake. One time I got sick. Yeah, we went time. Just my friend and I thought it would be a great day to just not bake the cookies. And only eat the cookie dough. Been there. Didn't Been put there. like the toll house chocolate chip cookie dough. Didn't put chocolate chips in it. We each got a bowl. And we were very lucky that my parents weren't home that night and we each got a, our own private bathroom. Shell, if you're watching, <laughs> you now have a child. And I will too. Yep. And uh, oh my God. I I mean I've definitely been there. Yeah. Definitely been there. Sick from too much cookie dough. Not baked. Thanks, Chipper. Ah, uh, hi, Jay. Thank you. Oh, hi, Jay. He's but feet away. Yeah, one of the things that we've been talking about for the year of the kitchenette is, yeah. you know, we want to we want to fix the sound. We're we're working on the audio issues. We're gonna figure out a, a nice solution that has us not drop out every. What if we got pop moment? star like handhelds <laughs> or Britney's? Brit Britney's will work. We need our hands. <laughs> <laughs> We had the boxes around them like we were like a news reporter. <laughs> yeah, to protect the mic. I, I'm into it. Yeah, and it says kitchen at best friends. Is that what I have? Um, what? Is that what I have? Though? I don't know. I was thinking from flower. No. But it probably like it's a targeted sound thing. I thought it was just a box so they knew what news station they were from. Maybe it's decoration. Anybody know? Do we have any news anchors in our chat today? <laughs> the history of the handheld mic. Oh my gosh, the hype train is close. That's fun. No, whoa. We have three subscriptions that we've missed. Oh yes, my gosh. Sort of clippy things. Ugh, guys, thank you. We are, yeah, clip mics, probably, yeah, probably lav mics. That's what those are called, little lav mics, little yeah. wireless doodad doodads. We didn't originally go that route because they're expensive and we are throwing about baked goods. Flour everywhere, or you know, <clears throat> expired cream. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. That would have ruined a mic. There's a little powdered sugar just over there in the kitchen, out of sight. Nice. But I don't know how it happened because none of my powdered, powdered sugar. sugar is open. Oh, really? I don't think so. Uh -huh. I saw it the other day, and I was like, I don't know how that got there. Fascinating. So anyway, so we're gonna work on the audio. We're gonna work on. We were talking about lights and making sure because. Oh. oh my gosh! Kitchen at bake sale. Ooh, if I'm at PeachCon, I'll have a bake sale. Oh, we absolutely will. Wait, we could make like a, 
sign, like a lemonade stand yes. and like make ourselves a little booth. They're so cute. We could package them up. Little individuals. Party girl brownies for everybody. <laughs> uh, that's a wonderful <laughs> idea and it's added to the list. Um, yeah, anyways, we each got to have it some 25 fingers. Oh God. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be a treat. Anyway, so we are, we're excited to be here. We're excited to be back. We're looking for a little more consistency this year. We're going to try and show up more. We're going to do more of those Pinterest streams where we, and we got to sit down, we got to sit down, we got to chat, we got to plan things out. So we're going to try and do that like once a month where we kind of plan out the month and, uh, so yeah, hanging. Keep an eye. Oh, Kimberly, I'm so proud of their efforts. Thank you so much. The doctor is in. That is the Lucy Van Pelt reference from your good man, Charlie Brown. Oh, it is. Yes, it is. Yep, there it is. Oh, I didn't get it. First. There's a whole movie somewhere of me in fourth grade. I'm as Lucy. Perfect as Lucy. Thank you. That's amazing. Oh, it was so much fun. I love it. I just got a Peanuts book, like a new set of books at my... Uh, work white elephant last night. Oh, you had a work white elephant. Mm-hmm. Fun. <laughs> what books did you get? It's like a three pack of peanuts books. Oh, it's peanuts books. That's yeah. the part I missed. Well, that makes sense because you were just talking about Lucy. I was distracted by Jesse. Hi, Jesse. You get a ding. Ding ding. We want more sound effects. Yeah, so we're gonna do. start working on sound effects. <laughs> right now, we're gonna make them by ourselves. Yeah, we were thinking logistically because we won't hear the sound effects if they're for you guys. Because we are not video game streamers that are can listen. No, it's a tricky to do. Anyway, here. Oh my gosh, I'm so the happy. Eighth Doctor catalog of audio dramas. That's so cool. Blacksmith. Speaking of audio dramas. Oh, nice. Uh, you. Sad. I need everyone to know that if you're pregnant and you're listening to a sad romance novel, don't do it, one, on the subway on your way to a holiday party. No. Two, mere minutes before Amanda walks in the room. It's Jake in front of his office and had seen me a while and I was sobbing on the couch. I was like, I have to get myself to get Amanda came in the car <laughs> Like, oh no. So I'm still was, red around the lids. It was hilarious and a little sad. <laughs> oh, listen. However, Evelyn Hugo is a wonderful listen. See, and I've been trying to read it, and that's, I need to go the listening route. The so good. There's three different voice actors, and I'm almost done, and I started it like two days ago. Amazing. Yes, very worthwhile. I actually, oh, speaking of, that audio drama that I did is coming out this week. I love an audio drama. It's an audio drama, and I'm the narrator, so I did a lot of reading. Oh, yeah. I had, like, 90 pages in oh, two right. an audio drama together. Yes. Forgot about that. That was really funny. <laughs> um, every year, my podcast, Broad Wasted, does a holiday radio play, mm-hmm. and this year, Kevin, who always writes it, was like, we're just going to do a cold read at a party. And so I just had a bunch of people over. Yep. And then we all got out scripts. Set out a couple of mics. And then we just read through a murder mystery. <laughs> it was a delight. We all... Amanda's the detective. I was. And I did it in a very silly Minnesota accent. <laughs> just for kicks. It was such a hoot. It was one of those nights where, like, everyone started and, like, everyone was doing a voice. And so then the next person, it was, like, pressure. What's the voice you're going to do? Gonna do now? voice. Yes. It was a very silly time. It was a silly fun time. It was a blast. Was anyway, crazy. speaking of silly fun times, we're going to make Party Girl Brownies today. Yes. Yeah. If you have not heard of these, uh, it is basically a very simple layer of cookie dough, chocolate chip cookie dough, yeah. layer of Oreos, layer of brownie. And a lot of people make them in a standard sort of brownie tin. But <laughs> Barbara, a.k.a. Mama Lash, a.k.a. Adam's wonderful mother, uh, gave me these for Christmas in addition to another uh, set of pans that will be featured in a future. Do you called brownie pans? Yes, I learned this. I didn't know. I was like, oh, that pan that the muffin recipe I make calls for. Yeah. So I did a bunch of uh, research on what can go in these, and the result was, well, it's a brownie pan, so make brownies in them. So we're going to do that. And I think they're a little bit, it's shallow, so we're going to have to make shallow uh, party girl brownies, but think they're gonna be great. Yeah, I know. A lot of party girls night. are shallow. Mm-hmm. That was really well done. I enjoyed that. Oh yeah. All right. 
I made truffles last night. Two varieties. This, this sounds fantastic. Blacksmith, Ooh, what kind of truffles? Kind. Amanda loves I truffles. Amanda loves a truffle. I made truffles by accident. Did I tell you this? When I couldn't get all of the fudge out of the pan? <laughs> Man, it was just really hard to get out of the pan. It was like, wait, mine's in cheese. Oh, oh, oh. It, like almost broke a spatula. Oh no! It was just, I don't know. I wasn't trying very hard either. Okay, but I just couldn't get it quite out in like neat squares. Yeah, yeah. So at the end, I just scooped it with a spoon. Yeah. Rolled it on up. Rolled it in cocoa powder. That's a truffle. And I made truffles. Yum yum. <laughs> and then I was like, these I like. Mm-hmm. We remain ever jealous of your ability to try the yummy treats. Yeah. He's a lucky one. Figure out sharing them more readily. I know, like, giving, like, donating them. There's got to be... You're giving them to a friend. I am. Tonight. I'm going to... My friend is also pregnant. Guys, I am surrounded. She's surrounded by bellies. <laughs> by bellies and babies. Oh, guys, guess what? My sister had her baby, and I was there. I got to be there. It was so sweet. Uh, on December 30th, Ethan Nicholas Dill, and he's a little ginger baby, and he looks like an old man, and he's very cute. Everybody's healthy. Yeah, 2023, the year of the babies. Um, yeah, it was a delight. And so, anyway. you need food? Want, want some carrots or something? I have carrots and tzatziki. <laughs> He's okay. Okay. Um, thank you, Jesse. Yeah, I'm stoked. She's it, my sister is a natural like caregiver. She's well, very she's doctor. always there. She's a doctor, like and has always been a doctor. She gives care. She does yeah. professionally. Um and her husband is an EMT firefighter. So they're fine. They're fine. They're gonna be great. Um but they are very good parents already. They're doing great. Uh and my I'm gonna go visit for like three days once her husband goes back to work for the first time to just like because he's on shift for 48 hours. So she was like, ugh that's a long time oh, for a little bit. Um, because they won't have their living nanny or not living nanny. They're gonna have a nanny come in for like forty eight hours once a week when they're both on shift, so that they can. Oh, because she also works for two forty hours. Yeah, she does. Because she works interesting. I know she works at a hospital that's like small town, six hour drive away, and she's on shift for like forty eight hours at a time. It's nuts. and she drives herself home. Yeah, she does. She stays in the hotel sometimes. But I feel like she should be required to sleep before she leaves. I feel like doctors should be required to sleep much more than they than do. You do. Yeah. But that's my two cents. Anyway, she's great and she functions well in no sleep, which is good for a new mom because babies, they don't do great with the sleeping. But so over here. here. Yeah. We're going to do great, great with the not sleeping. <laughs> Listen, you just call me, I'll come over, I'll help. It'll be okay. fine. It'll be fine. Um, anyway, so my friend tonight, my friend Stevie is pregnant, and she's due this month, and I'm going to help her decorate her nursery, and I'm going to bring Party Girl brownies for the new month. For her Party Girl. Yeah. Uh, for... Or she doesn't know. I don't know. I should know. Do I know? I don't remember. What's the decor of the nursery? I don't know. I will know. It'll become the parents when you remind <laughs> She already has a little girl. Um, Caffeine is my friend. Can you tell I'm heavily caffeinated at the moment? Oh, I am. Oh, well, I had to be. This morning, I took care of two sets of, of kitties and was, like, running all over the city and then also tutoring a bunch and was just, like, in this, like, mode. So I've had lots of coffee. I'm doing great. Let's make some things. Uh, I'm thinking 350. What yes. is? Okay. I agree. So, guys, our brownie recipe that we found that is uh, shoestring, gluten-free shoes on a shoestring. On a shoestring. I actually have the tin cookie on a shoestring. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's right. Um, had a really good brownie recipe. And so, for this, you don't really need to do a party girl brownie recipe. You can just find different recipes that you like of the various components. Um, and so, we're going to use that. But she said uh, 325 degrees for 28 minutes. That seems low, but also <laughs> maybe they're to get them, like, fudgy. They are fudgy, and fudgy is good for a party girl brownie. Mm -hmm. um, so we are going to do 350, and we'll see how, and we'll, yeah, we'll just keep an eye on it. Um, but we're going to make the brownies first, and then we're going to make some cookie dough, and then we're going to throw it in there. And we also have Reese's <laughs> and Oreos. Yes, we do. For both. more <laughs> parties. For the middle part. We could do both. We could do like, that's insane. I'm insane. Uh, yeah, it is an immediate sugar coma. My sisters and sister-in-law and I all did it. Like, we had, like, one summer mm -hmm. where we made, I think, like, two sets of them while we were there for, like, ten days. And we were just ill. It was not okay, but it was very fun. And very tasty. We had, like, a big of it. It was really bad. It was really bad. All right. 
So we're going to melt some butter and sugar. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be our first. Can we get a saucepan? Or I guess we could do it in the... I'm just going to do it in the microwave. Micro okay. Unless, what does it say to do? It's not a saucepan, but it's it's heat, simmer, and then cool. Heat on medium, but in the... My saucepan is dirty. Occupied? I don't know. Oh, actually, I can just use, like, a pan pan. It's just a pan pan. Yeah. It's not a ton. Okay. How many? Uh, I mean, nine tablespoons, so one plus one more. Huh. One more little... Interesting. I know. Very specific. I use this recipe because it's uh, naturally gluten free instead of having to make a substitution. I feel like that is always going to be better. Yeah. You know? And I yeah. don't make brownies a lot. I don't either. Um, from scratch, like brownie box brownies. Are actually are usually fine. Yeah, they're great. Uh, the truffle brownie mix from Trader Joe's is one of my favorites. Yes. Excellent brownie. I don't know. It's extra truffly, fudgy. It's yummy. Uh, I think it had like truffle oil in it, mm -hmm. which sounds gross. Yeah, that really sounds gross. Uh, Blacksmith says I'm going to ask uh, it. I know you guys do baking and all that, but when are you going to dive into the world of pasta? We made gnocchi. We so that counts a little bit. Yeah, but I. Um, one day we'd love to get a pasta attachment. Ooh, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, because I'm pretty sure gluten-free pasta is pretty simple as far as making fresh pasta goes. Like, you just sub it out. And it's a fun idea. I think we could do it. Good idea. Added to the list. We need to have a list. I don't think we actually have, like, a running list anymore. No. We need to add to that. That's the one. <laughs> Hell. All right. We need one and one-fourth cups of... So we're just melting the butter and sugar together on medium heat. Pretty straightforward. This is three quarters of cups. That's fun. I'll do that. All my one cup in my dishwasher. Go. I was at a party last night and I was at work in the morning. So nothing happened in this house. That is reasonable. That's two thirds of a cup. Adam needs to get us a mini whiteboard. Funny you should say that. I get a oh, Barbara says you need a whiteboard. Yeah, uh, we did get a whiteboard. We really did. A calendar though. That's true. Her whiteboard's a calendar. We could use it as a whiteboard, though. No, but that's that's a fun, like a kitchenette best friends one that we could just like. I have this. Oh, that's true. Although I think it needs to be a little bit bigger than that. That's too many. Too many. But a good idea. And also, hi, Barbara. Do you feel we're using your pants? We need all your fault. Jay says we need to start buying stock in companies that make whiteboards. I think that's the the hot tip of the year. Expo. <laughs> All right, so while that's melting, I actually might prep the dry ingredients so that we've got it all together, maybe. Because I feel like, here's my thought. All right, so the butter and sugar is melting, but it needs to cool enough that it's not going to cook the eggs. So part of me is tempted to, like, cream the butter and sugar for the cookies separately. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because we don't need to do any, like, hard whipping. I don't know. Thinking about it. I have not made brownies, but I'm much better at fudge. I can make a really good peanut butter fudge. Oh, Jesse. Did you, were you here for that stream? Uh, it's on the YouTube called, I think, Fudge and Candy Treats or something, Holiday, Holiday, I forget, Holiday Snackies. Anyway, it's, uh, we made some really yummy, it was peanut butter marshmallow fudge. It's very tasty. But if you want to throw your uh, recipe in Discord, I would happily take a look at that because I love fudge. Fudge is hard. Fudge, mm, fudge just can go wrong, right? And yeah. so, like, there are ways to do it easily. But the more complex ones definitely have a high risk factor. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Take a look, Jesse. It's really fun. Okay. What am I doing? Dry ingredients. I got flour in a box, which uh, from my local grocery store, I, I did not see any other gluten free flour. And then. And all of us were like, I've never seen it. I've never seen it in a box. But apparently that's how they do it at my little local heat Um, So I'm going to get the. Only a third cup of flour, actually, which is interesting. Oh, I guess we got a cup of cocoa well, powder. Like, like a flourless chocolate cake or like anything mm -hmm. like yeah. craftily. Mm -hmm. For instance, when you said brookie the first time, yeah. when I think of a brookie, I think of cookies that taste like brownies. Like a chocolate cookie is what I know of brookie. Okay. Well, <laughs> census. Does that mean, I, I think of brookie like a brownie cookie where you combine the two. The slutty part is just, yeah. Have the Oreo in the middle. Uh, I mean, the party girl part. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're trying to make this a little more family friendly. Uh, 
yeah, I'm gonna do, that's a third cup of flour. And then we're gonna do two tablespoons of cornstarch, which actually is not that much cornstarch. Yeah. But, and cornstarch does the like, what does that do? Does it make it chewier? It also is like a binder. Okay. For the glutenlessness. The gluten. <laughs> the lack of the gluten. gluten melted, yeah. I'm trying to make a caramel. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, it just said simmering. It was simmering and then it turns off the heat. Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, we don't want it to harden. We don't want yeah. the butter to harden, so. Mm -hmm. you. What is your teaspoon, tablespoon? I did not need it there. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I think I also have Bobby. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like oh, I was holding it at a bad angle. <laughs> What? It is, you're right, it's caramelizing a little bit. Not too much. I was just like, I don't know the difference between melting this and cooking this. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, I think as long as it doesn't harden, we're golden. Yeah. Okay. But we can also help with the crackle. Yes, that was a note. Never heard of a brookie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Fett, apparently. Oh my gosh, this is not tomato just needed. Thank you. Thank you, man. Tomato, how are you? <laughs> Hello, I dream. I grunt queen. Hi, Sebastian. Grab your pitchfork. Or just your forks for making today. <laughs> you can use a pitchfork to eat a brownie. Who knows? Are you far away? Is he at? No. I'm just going to rinse. Yeah, give him a little rinse. I did rinse them before I brought them up, okay. but I mean, can't hurt to give them a little extra. Okay. <laughs> Here's already I trust you. Okay, what goes in the butter? Uh, it is gonna be it's cooling, so oh, okay. that is alone for a little bit, and then we can you can whisk the eggs and vanilla if you want. Sure. And I've got the. Oh, I broke. You know what? It's opened. Don't get too sad. Okay. Hi, <laughs> uh, Sebastian. Baking's good. We are making party girl brownies today so we are how much uh, how much egg <laughs> two egg uh yeah we're making party girl brownies which are basically uh a layer of chocolate chip cookie dough a layer of oreos slash reese's and then a layer of brownie on top they are decadent and delightful <laughs> they're for a party yeah which i'm gonna go have in a nursery <laughs> i'm taking these to my friend uh who is also pregnant and also having a baby this month, actually, and I'm going to help her decorate her dress. Swimming, I am the pregnant one. Oh, that's not true. you. No, I'm not pregnant. She's very much certified. Very much not. That, that's fair. All right. So what she's doing right now is whisking together eggs and vanilla, which is not something I have ever done. I don't think. No, me either. Vanilla. Um. Yeah. It's this. This recipe. Although we could make, make but, um. Like when I make scones, I whisk the buttermilk and the eggs together. Before I add them, and so sometimes I think it's just to help, like, just make it a little bit more incorporating, and then you don't have to like over mix anything. That makes sense. Okay, what am I doing? We need a cup of cocoa powder. I think we're gonna need the other kind, but let's see how far we can get this. Blanche, sorry, for once. I got it. Actually, it's probably good to have that anyway because we're going to make cookies. Oh, yeah. All right. We were just talking about diets and healthy food and tomato stream. <laughs> Elsa, made um, my tomato. Here, let's eat. Starting with brown. Listen, thing. Listen, there's no such thing as diet culture you can suck it. It can suck it. You right. can eat a brownie and not feel bad about yourself. That's correct. You can eat anything and not feel bad about There are yourself. no bad foods. And and having a... It's morally neutral. It is called balance. Maybe. Thank you, blacksmith. Yeah. Well, and it's also like, in the grand scheme of things, we all live and die. So, like, might as well eat a brownie and enjoy your life a little bit. And just, like, pay attention if your health is not so great and you need to maybe have one fewer or go for a walk. But, like, don't deprive yourself. No. If you have a brownie, just, like... 
I'm a vegetable liquor. Yeah, there you go. Balance. Balance. Yeah. Get enough fiber. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes. Follow Abby's Kitchen on YouTube. I like her. <laughs> if you brunched last week and spend this weekend cooking, there you go. If you balance the cookies in your left hand with brownies in your right, nice garage. <laughs> or just put them together and make yourself a little party. <laughs> one tray? I'll take one tray. Oh, Ellie, we were talking about the batter and how it uh, it upsets your tummy. If you eat a lot of it. If you eat the... <laughs> what, what vegetable pairs best, best with brownies? I don't know. Like a carrot? Carrots are really sugary. sugary. Yeah. Also, I was just eating carrots. But that's probably the only vegetable in my That's probably like the standard vegetable. Pair it with the brownie. No, no. If you just have it later as a like balancing moment. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're just over here trying to relearn our relationship with food and make sure we don't pass it on to the next generation. Dude, yeah. I mean, my mom was always dieting and always yeah. like finding the new... My dad thing. And it's just like snack wells. Yeah. One of those boxes. Oh, my God. She did a lot of stuff like that. And she did a lot of research and just spent a lot of time with it. And it was always so hard. Did she ever do Suzanne Summers? Yeah. My mom loves Suzanne Summers. My mom's biggest one is French Girls Don't Get Fat. Oh. Um, that one? It's about like just, it's a little baguette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Basically, it was, it's, it's an attitude towards eating that is, you know, French, French in nature. But it's, and it, it like makes sense, but it's also, my mom was really good because they have better ingredients. Oh, well, yeah. That too. Yeah. Anyway. So, hi, culture. Can suck it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my mom tried Jenny Craig. Where is Jenny Craig now? Crashing and burning. Are they? Good. Yeah, let that be a lesson. One time you. I went to Curves with my friend and her grandmother. Oh. Do you remember Curves? I remember Curves very well. Also, I don't know what it is about the new year and people just diet culture mm -hmm. wanting people to be on a diet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's put it I mean, it's a money thing. Oh, yeah. Like so, like, my TikTok ads all of January 1st were for mm -hmm. Weight Watchers, now mm -hmm. rebranded as mm -hmm. WW. And I didn't know they still did meetings. Like, remember when I had to go to, like, weigh-ins and meetings mm -hmm. and stuff on Weight Watchers? My mom used to do it. Mm -hmm. Now they call them, yeah. like, seminars or something. Like, here's what happens at a WW workshop. And it's like, you have the option to weigh yourself, which is really great motivation. You have, like... And then you talk about, like, what's healthy and blah, 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 and, like, how to do your points right. And I'm just like, why? You know what the rest of my TikTok looks like. I mean, I'm interested in this. Oh, so many, like, anti-diet culture registered dietitians. Anyway. Anyway. If you are struggling with your relationship with food, there are so many amazing resources out there now yes. that we're not... Oh, in the 90s and the early 2000s. Yeah. And, like, there are so many good ways to do it and to just, like, reimagine your uh, your relationship to food, your relationship to eating. It's a little junky, but I feel like it'll come together. Well, yeah. if we're adding egg to it, that should add some liquid. Yeah. See what happens. Confused. <laughs> a little bit. Anyway. It's a bee. As I said, I've never done it before. I don't know. I'm trying to think what... Utensil. Oh, sorry. Remember the baking soda. <laughs> you ever get TikTok songs stuck in your head? A hundred percent. Four or five looks from everyone in the room. Which I always finish it. I saw intermittent fasting was super helpful because I would snack a lot, so limiting the times helped. Okay. Yes, but great. I'm a monster when I'm hungry. Oh, I had such a funny moment today. Okay, guys, as I said, my day was a little bit crazy. I, I fed two sets of cats. I was tutoring. I was just a little bit nuts. And then I had seven minutes to eat lunch. And I just sat there in the kitchen like, I can't, I don't, I can't figure out what to, and Adam walks in and he goes, honey, are you having an executive functioning moment? And I was like, that is correct. And he goes, oh, he goes, okay eat a sandwich. And I pouted and he goes, you don't want to eat a sandwich. And I was like, that's correct. And he was like, he's like, okay, how much time do you have? And I was like, seven minutes. He was like, you, you need to eat a sandwich. Mm -hmm. That's, that's the right answer. And I was like, I don't even have chips. It's like, you sure you're not pregnant? <laughs> so he was like, he was like, okay, how about this? You eat a sandwich now. And then you tell Kimberly, you need chips later. <laughs> To you chips. Well, as soon as I ate, I you didn't use the, chip the chips. I also made myself a glass of milk and had a cookie with it. 
and felt fine. Uh, yeah, listen. I yeah, when I'm hungry, I am absolutely like I regress back to a toddler. I'm not functional. What are we talking about? All the diet print ads before 1930 went to gain weight. Yeah, because you looked you looked rich mm-hmm. if you were fat. Now, well, because for a long time that was a, a status. I know, thing. and now it's well, and then there was heroin chic, which mm-hmm. is basically in the 90s, and it's coming back. It'll look like a little right. dead, and that's so upsetting. Yeah. Bad. Chips in the sandwich. Especially, I didn't even have chips to add to my sandwich. And it was a very sad moment. Chips chips are delicious. Chips. You just have to lunch a bullet. All right. Okay, nice. so this goes first. So in. Yeah. And it's said slowly. Here, do you want to pour it on it? Sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I also like brownies because you don't have to use a mixer for brownies because you melt them. Yeah. I think the idea with the slow here is that you don't cook the eggs. Yeah. The melted butter is too hot, but I think we're golden. I think we're good. All right. This is a much better consistency now. Okay, good. And then we're going to add cocoa powder. Yeah. Like this. Mm-hmm. Give me all the eggs. Also, just eggs, like whisked eggs with vanilla. Mm. Just, and I was like, just now have figured out why that smell was so intoxicating to me. Mm. And I was like, mm, French toast. <laughs> Oh my god, we had so much French toast at my at my dad's over Christmas. Really? Yeah, and the kiddos I love all French over it. toast. It was so fun. Do you are you a syrup or a powdered sugar family? Uh, we are a syrup and powdered sugar. All right, so we're throwing that in, and it's going to until it's incorporated. So, like, basically, that the cocoa has uh, absorbed absorbed all the liquid slash been absorbed into all the liquid. Uh, and then we're going to add the flour and other dry ingredients and just mix, like just until mixed. Now, do you want to add chocolate chips to brownies or not? I think no. That's what I thought too. I think that's too many textures. I think you're right. I think you're right. Something should be soft. In my mind, everything should be soft. <laughs> do you think it's funny because he's like, you like your food just soft and beige. <laughs> oh, it's true. Yeah. Okay. It's reasonable. Listen. My great aunt Layla, who lived with us for a long time, also liked her food soft. I have been often reminded it's because she had dentures. <laughs> but <laughs> you're just preparing to not be disappointed in the grand scheme. Yes. One day when I have dentures, I'm going to already <laughs> eat all the things I like. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Oh, that was me. <laughs> that I got gotcha. you. Turkey yeah. bit is the best. We have missed some. Oh, it's in sandwiches. Okay, so here's my favorite thing. Ham. That like the kind that's like a honey baked ham. Oh, we've got some in the fridge. Uh, iceberg lettuce, mayo, mustard, and then ruffles on the side. And that is the only situation in which ruffles are my preferred chip. Ruffles are always my preferred chip. I love a ruffle, but like not always like the choice chip. You know, like a snacking chip, like sure. with a ham sandwich, the best oh, favorite. <laughs> Chase, yo, I love ruffles. Ruffles are the best. Yeah, man. Cheddar, They're very sour cream and cheddar, cream and cheddar ruffles. Mm. Mm-hmm. I also have been getting really into kettle chips. I like a kettle, like the sour, sour cream and onion kettle chips mm. or jalapeno. We did a chip bracket <laughs> at Thanksgiving with Jay's <laughs> Gaylin. That's the, the, the favorite chips chip looking tastes so good as everything. All right. And there's actually not that much flour to add. You think we're ready for it? So this is flour, baking soda, salt, cornstarch. And we're just going to give it a little get it on in there. After. Just incorporated. Now fold it in. You know that reference? That's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How? <laughs> you just, you fold it. Not a sweater. <laughs> that's right. I don't know. I made that line up. I liked it. All oh dressed gosh. chips in Canada, ruffles, oh. are the world's most superior chip. Okay. Huh? It's like salt and vinegar plus barbecue. Yum, yum. Mm-hmm. All right. So, so a dill pickle chip I've been getting into recently. Dill pickle chip. Mm-hmm. I like chips with pickles. I've never and I really dill, dill have pickle. been into salt recently. I just ate an entire thing of green olives. <laughs> and Jay came home and he was like, "That there's a lot of olive pits in the trash. How many olives did you eat? And I was like, oh, man. Uh, You have to. It's in the name. Olive all. <laughs> all of the olives. Um, Make your own Lipton French onion soup mixed with sour cream is the best. You are not wrong. Oh, mm-hmm. 
um, Lipton French onion soup mix on top of potatoes roasted. Oh. Is my favorite kind of potato. It's what my grandmom does. Hmm. Well, that's a question. Yes. Answer. <laughs> Should we take a lick? I need the answer. <laughs> that's not a question, please. <laughs> No, the question I have is, should we do, like, the little uh, parchment paper strips to better hoist these out? Mm. Or should we just do, like, a butter flower or a butter or a spray or a spray before? Okay. Because I enjoy a crunch. Noted. All right. And brownie, right? Absolutely. Let's really, I mean, let's put these pans to the test. I don't know. This is dry, yeah. Yeah, just get a little. So, how did you start using pa- parchment paper in your life uh, versus recently. just spraying in the pants. past few years? Yeah, me too. Yeah, recently, um, it's like made it my whole childhood to putting them on bare and naked. I also did a lot of scraping, so yeah, true. I had such a bad moment uh, with my <laughs> my poor dad. I made something. Oh, Barbara, I made the tomato anyway, cami, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I know when we're back in. I think you did too. Tasty. Real yummy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Set aside. <laughs> Throw some pickles in the chat. Pickles. Yum yum. I've got some in the fridge. You want some? There's some barber's pickles Honestly, still. Actually. Yes. The answer is all of you. I have kosher deals. All right. Let's make some cookies. Okay. So we're going to do cookie dough now. Chocolate to cookie dough. But we're just, we're just going to do a normal recipe, which I will be honest, I have memorized. So ready for this? We're doing half a recipe. Okay. We are going to do... Uh, it is normally two and a quarter cups of flour, so we're going to do one and an eighth. Mm-hmm. And then it is, I think I'm going to get this right, and it's going to be really sad for me, uh, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda. Is that right? Or one teaspoon. One. It's one teaspoon, three quarters of salt. One teaspoon. Really? Yeah. It's one and one? One and one. Okay, so we're going to do half and half. And then, is there a three quarter teaspoon of anything? Or am I just making No, three quarter cups of sugar and brown sugar. No, I knew that. All oh, right, three gosh. quarters... Oh, yeah, we didn't grab that up. Uh, three quarter cups of granulated sugar, so we'll do like a little less than a half. And then three quarter cups of each brown, sugar. Each sugar. And then, and we'll cream the butter and sugar together. And the butter is usually one cup, so we'll do a half cup. Mm-hmm. Here we go. One stick instead of two sticks. Correct. Yeah. And then one large egg and a half a teaspoon of vanilla, really a whole teaspoon of vanilla, because I always mm-hmm. did you. And then John Loops. Oh, and egg. Okay. Yeah. How did yep. the tomato cups turn out? Oh, Barbara. Okay, so the tomato cups. I have no idea. I mean, so they're basically like a little egg cup mini quiche thing. Like you threw like some veggies in there and some bacon and stuff and baked them in the oven in, in muffin tins. Very fun. Uh, with biscuit on the bottom. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we, we got those like biscuits and put them on the bottom. It was very fun. But, but I did not properly, I guess, my dad has a very old pan and I did not line it well oh no and i we got them all out fine but then apparently he was in there like with elbow grease scraping and i didn't oh. know that that's what's what was happening so he just came into the living room and was like hey, next time you bake hire an elf to come clean it like christmas like, he was so cranky with me i was like it's soft it's soft yeah it's just not a full thing we're looking for the other one i go here oh my there's a full thing in there. Great. Okay. So we'll do half a cup of butter and we'll do a little less than a half a cup of each of the sugars and we'll give it a cream. Just take the time. Oh, okay. guys. So we were talking about adding more ritual stuff and realized that we have so many tea times. We have tea time, but we have tilly time. We have texture time. We have tasting time. It's like, it's really, 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 really fun. There wasn't therapy one. time. Therapy time. Anyway, here's the Tilly, 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 tilly. tilly, tilly, tilly. It's really bouncy. The shape of the lock it. Every once in a while, a kitchen agent observer will go a little out of alignment and start to bounce. <laughs> and I'm trying to fix her, but I think I just need to get that kitchen aid, guys. Ever dying. Oh, like a yeah. And I keep like saying I want it, and then I forget about it immediately. Oh, all right. Well, now it's on the record. I was kind of softening this up a little bit more. And, oh, that's looks it. An exam? Eh? I gotta head out, gotta prepare for tomorrow's exam. Oh, good luck, Dream. Thanks for being here. Well, 
Look what I'm doing. It's a three quarter step and I'm just filling it up. Whoa. It probably adds just a smidge more brown sugar, but that's it. Oh, that's more brown sugar. And just a little a smidge. Okay. Does that make any difference? A little bit more. Okay. Brown sugar. Mm -hmm. I love brown sugar. You just eat a whole. I happened, if you know We didn't have any at my dad's, and so I was like, oh, I know how to do this. We can have molasses. molasses. We didn't have any molasses, but I made it syrup, and it turned out. Yeah, we made a cake for my, so for those of you who were did not show up at the beginning, my sister had a baby while I was visiting Colorado, and we made, it was also her husband's birthday when he was born, so we made a birthday cake for both of them. So um, it's very fun, and my niece has helped me decorate it. And uh, we had little like rosette, like white rosettes all the way around. And uh, I was writing happy birthday in red. And my niece goes, oh, there's little red dots around. And it looked very much like little boobies all the way around the cake. It was hilarious and very appropriate for, you know, a new mom. Um, but I uh, <laughs> get to name this one. No, his name was, uh, it's, it's still Ethan. Ethan Nicholas Dill, he's very cute. He looks like an old man. He's got red hair so and he's so puffy true. and he's just really precious. He also is on oxygen because they're in, uh, in the mountains. They're in altitude. So um, he's a little, he's got a little like thing and stickers on it. It's so, very sweet. Oh, so cute. He's very cute. He's a very sweet boy. Okay, egg? Egg, yeah. Technically the vanilla is in the recipe, which I didn't realize this early was the vanilla. Which is the French strain. Anyway, okay. I can just add the egg though. Egg, one egg. You have to whisk them together. Mm, oh, there you go. Whoop. Here, let's do it at the same time. Uh, uh, so one egg, a good dough, a good glug, glug, a good glug, and then ingredients, which I can get out. So we'll do. There's nothing we need to take into consideration with gluten free in this recipe, right? No, probably I not. One I'm sure I've used it. Kind of decide. Mm -hmm. One and a quarter cup. I'm just trying to. Here. Yeah, I guess there you go. One. She's got to go in it. Oh. And a third. And the furniture. Thank you. Actually, it's oh, no, one and one eight. eight, so it's. But I'll just have yeah. Can't say I have an eight on the end. <laughs> Let's do a little extra. There we go. All right, and we can always add a little more flour if we need to. <laughs> and we need half a quarter. Let's do two of these. So we'll do a half teaspoon baking soda, one left, oh. and teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna give it some shapes. Yeah. We're also using salted butter, so you don't need too much. But I like salt. That's me too. <laughs> I mean, it's a half a teaspoon. I guess. Yeah. I'm, I don't usually use salted mm -hmm. butter, so I don't really know the impact. Oh, I always use salted butter because yeah. it's salty. Because I don't ever want to put unsalted butter on a piece of toast. Oh, Squids, I just noticed you followed us. Thank you for the follow. Oh. Hey. Oh, and Jay, thank you for resubscribing. <laughs> Jay? Jay. Hello, Jay. All right, so I am just stirring together dry ingredients so that once we add them... Oh, how's that going? Okay. This looks a little... A little separated. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Oh, no, I just noticed that you resubscribed. Oh, yeah. yeah. We missed a couple of ding-dings. I wonder if it's because, like, a small amount of batter in this... I feel like the butter is doing interesting things. Oh. I'm not sure why. Okay. If, but when I, when you were mixing it together, it felt like it was a little bit well, more... Well, it was very soft. That might be it. And so I was trying to, like, whip it to get, get it gone. gone. Okay, that might be it. Oh. So I think the butter was just too cold. <gasps> Jesse's going to try making your own butter. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, that's... People have been... You ever made butter? No. You just whip whipped cream too much. Oh, okay. Fine. I... Great. Do you follow that French, Jessie, do you follow that French girl on TikTok with the mustard and the butter and the yogurt pot? Oh, my God. I love her. 
I get to name all of the babies. Dehydrated steam. I always use unsalted butter because you never know how much salt is in salted butter with different brands. So it broke up net recipes too much. That's interesting. That's what they say. That, I think it depends. Like certain things I'll like yeah. care. But cookies, but I also like, I don't want to have unsalted butter in my fridge and use that on like bread. Yeah. Although I have been really into just putting flaky sea salt on top of my butter. But it's just the way to do it. I but just also with salt butter. I'm a salty girl. <laughs> yeah, see, now it looks fine. Yeah. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, great. <laughs> All right. So, does that chocolate chip? Yeah. Amazing. How look like mild chocolate chips do you want it? Because I always tend to over chocolate chip. <laughs> I always <laughs> under chocolate chip. Yeah. So, somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle. Okay. Can you measure that one? <laughs> what does it say? I think it said a. I have it in my hands. Two cups. So, one whole cup for a half a gram. This thing looks like yeah. a three quarters cup. We are also adding full brownies to get her in there. And see, to me, that looks like plenty. We can stick with that. And, and I only on. this make the one out from chocolate chips. I would keep it dressed and not add chocolate chips at all. See, and when I was younger, I'm weird. Any dessert without chocolate was a waste. Interesting. Yeah. I love yeah. a non chocolate dessert. Yeah, because you have to add chocolate chips. Mm-hmm. Like, Candy bars are payday. Oh, which is the baby root without the mm-hmm. That's without the chocolate. And see, I would be so upset when I got those in my Halloween bag. All right, where's the spray, cooking spray? Coconut oil? Yeah. Well, I'm satisfying a little bit. So now what we're going to do is do a layer of cookie dough and then a layer of Oreos on top of the cookie dough and then a layer of brownie mix on top of all of it. <laughs> and some will have a Reese's and then a little Because we are partying. <laughs> Add chocolate chips until your ancestors tell you stop. Hilarious. All right. I'm going to put that on. Let's do it. Let's bring Although, all this stuff. currently all she can see is herself. What happened? Oh, she's backwards. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> there we are. Okay, let's actually clean the bottom so this doesn't get on the bottom. Does that make any sense? Is that logic? Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh. And stood this off of the oven. I was like, why is this hot? Oh, oh. it was on the oven. Yeah, then, which is on. Yeah. Right from here. Oh, yeah. Well, failed that on the floor. My bad. Okay. What did we say? Uh, we said cookie dough, and then we said Oreo, and then we go brown. Oh. Try to figure out the best way. Oh, hold on, we gotta mm-hmm. flip. Charlotte, did she flip? I can't tell. Yes, she did. Did I flip her again? Uh, let's see. I'll do cookies and you do Oreos? Yeah. And then I brought that for the brownie. Mm-hmm. I feel like you now. Thanks. More? Uh, no. Because we want to be able to have room for brownie. Okay. Because these are pretty shallow. Yes. Shallow tins for a shallow girl. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a Reese's. Mm. All right, I'm actually also gonna do a little smooth out. Yeah, well, I was gonna say, hey, can you use the Oreo? Ah, okay. I don't know if it would. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Mush. And least smooch. You're right. Mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, probably not for some. I'm just gonna get the right amount. Ceiling. Okay. Here, switch. You could use your hands for texture time. Mm-hmm. Right. It's just sticky. I don't want to. 
bring it up I onto my... Sticky. I do like sticky. No, it's more bringing it up on my fingers rather than in the pan. Oh. But you're correct. It's working a little bit better if I double. Uh-oh. Mm. Mm. We're a little out. We're a little out? Okay. Yeah. Well, well, so we'll just be brownies. Not me. Nice. <laughs> I know. Yeah, we did have the cookie recipe because we thought it, it might be see cookies. Yeah, that's that can't be correct. That's do people make the twelve ounce recipe often? Do you make sixty cookies? That's great. Do you just make really little cookies? Must be. I need a little more dough. Give me some of these. Yeah. Cookie dough all over the Oreos. <laughs> well, they're all, they're getting baked. Oh, the ones in there. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, yes, that's the that, point. That, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So does everybody else have a nice holiday? That was everything. No, just start eating. Yeah. Yeah. I might need to like borrow from here. Yeah. Mm hmm. So we can start doing some Reese's ones. I have the sneaking suspicions the Reese's are going to be too sweet. Like the Oreo has a little bit of, I don't know, darkness to it. Mm -hmm. But it's an interesting texture. Like mm -hmm. I don't know if I like the texture of an Oreo in the middle of a brown. Fair enough. I mean, I love a Reese's with all my heart, so you know, don't get me wrong. All right, I'm going to need a whole other cookie over here. <laughs> or we'll just do a brownie over here. Okay, sorry. No, that's fine. It's not enough. Let's see, can I add that? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Tasty good? No. All right, so now. I'm glad you had a good holiday, Barbara. And also thrilled you had a great holiday. But you were together. <laughs> Many thanks to you. Many thanks to you. It was very sweet. And then I got to Here. round that round it out with uh, a baby being born. So I was That's so nice. A happy gal. It was very fun. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Yes. So I don't think it necessarily has to like already Ball. be I mean I think it can we can make sure it's going around but like I don't know that we have to be too precious with it. All right. Let's see. Maybe eating my clothes. Because normally obviously this is like one big pan. So it looks a little different. It kind of just also that is really fudgy brown. I'm really into it. Yeah. Kimberly says, yes, it was very chill, something we all wanted. You know what? I would say chill of holidays is so underrated. Yes. It really is. I'm not positive what time it is. There we are. Right yeah. 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 And we'll do. So it was like, this could have been 10 minutes or an hour. I don't know. Adam asked me today if I've ever lost time. Looking at my phone, and I was like, oh, yes. Yes. I'm like, really? Has he not? He has not. He, he's not on TikTok. He's not on TikTok. He's on Reddit, which I think can be. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not the same as it's not videos. True. You know? Some videos. I've never really been on Reddit other than to be like, this is pregnant because I'm so positive to you. <laughs> All right. I'm going to just. Oh, it's a little warm. Oh, just give it a little change. Yeah, just to like yeah. tell it where to go, you know what I mean? Hi, Twilight. Nice to meet you, Tracy. Thank Hello. you for the follow. We're baking uh, Party Girl Brownies. These are a layer of cookie dough, a layer of Oreo or Reese's, and a layer of 
brownie. And we're uh, getting ready to go in the oven. He's very fun. All right. So yeah, my mom was anything but chill. It was not a... Oh, well, actually, that's not entirely true. The uh, time spent at Mama and Papa Lash's residence uh, out in Virginia was delightfully chill. <laughs> Aside from we did an entire massive crossword. Did you see that before? <laughs> So it was a crossword that Bob had basically, I, I guess, taped to, or I, I can't remember how he actually managed to make this happen, but he had put it on a huge, like, cardboard cutout thing. Um, and we had, like, a little, like, made little, I don't know, like, props for the clues. There were something like a thousand, like, 1,300 clues. It was absolute chaos. Did you do it? Yes, we did. Was it all correct? Well, that's a question that I don't know the answer to. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah. I think, I think we got there. We used my dad's help. We used Adam. We used Barbara. I mean, Bob and I were manic about it. <laughs> oh, interesting question. Tracy says, since your name is first, Kimberly, I'm assuming it was your idea to create a Twitch cooking channel. No. It was not. It was not either of our ideas, actually. It was Jay's idea. That's correct. It was our boys. Did I just somehow miss a single one? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah, we, uh, so if you are totally new here, our respective partners have a wildly runaway hit successful, what's the bit, uh, channel on YouTube, but also on Twitch and uh, various other, you know, locations. And Kimberly and I were both separately baking and trying to kind of make some content out of it. And they were like, guys, how about, how about come together? How about both of you? And, um, you know, our mission statement is basically we have to be friends because mm -hmm. our, our boys are not inevitably tired. No, no, no. But like, we, we have to get along. We have to get along for her. We are definitely going to use a lot of brownies. I'm also taking them over to, uh, my friend is pregnant and I'm going to help her decorate her nursery tonight. And so I'm going to bring some of these as a little housewarming. I think it's ready to go. Yeah. Should we do the thing? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Going off to the oven. Perfect. So uh, let's do like 28 minutes and check them, but it's going to be longer. I also have no concept of how to test if they're done. Just a thing in the middle comes out clean. It'll, all, it'll have a Reese's in it. That's true. The Reese's one might be the clean. We can test an Oreo one. Yeah, I think as long as it doesn't come out with like batter on it. Yeah. Uh, oops, this came close to me. I don't know. I probably shouldn't be eating a raw cookie dough, but oh, yeah. <laughs> you know. Whatever. Selective <laughs> risks. Hmm? I'm bringing chairs for us. To be fair, my doctor didn't mention it. All right. Well, oh, we're okay. <laughs> my friend's wife is pregnant and due in April on her own birthday. The world is in baby mode. Truly. Truly, truly. Yeah. It's all out in her procreating. Yeah. <laughs> would you like a reason? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. As would I for you and for me. What? <laughs> Favorite candy ever. Always loved Aries. Uh oh. Ellie says, is it just my internet that keeps buffering? Is it like I don't know. anyone tell Not sure. I hope it's uh well I know. I don't hope it's your internet, but I hope it's I hope it's you. For your sake. Hmm. Question for Amanda. Did you hear about the big news in entertainment and the associated <laughs> gossip? Well, that's a big question. The answer is no, probably not. Was it today? Because I was very busy before I came over here. Barbara says it's fine. Sorry, Ellie. I hope it gets better. Hmm. Weird. I don't know. Um, yeah, you'll have to enlighten me. I do not know about the entertainment news. Do you know anything about entertainment news? No. 
Does it have to do with like, Evelyn Hugo's fake entertainment industry? <laughs> so, hmm. Yeah. I have oh, not been plugged good. into the world. The gossip. Hmm. Well, tell us. Yeah, I think. Are we waiting on you to tell us? Dip a Hershey's chocolate bars in peanut butter. No, no, Sebastian. The thing about Reese's so is weird. it's like, it's it's peanut butter, but it's also... Well, the texture of the peanut butter is different. It's different because it's got graham cracker and it's got Adult? powdered sugar. Mm-hmm. And it's got butter. They aren't gluten-free. I've, when I've made them, I've done them with graham cracker. And it's got that texture. So they do it without that then, I guess. I never thought about that. So they should be gluten-free. I don't know. Yeah, I see no indication that they are not. Did Mark Summers ever go to the factory and teach us how they're made? Gluten-free. Okay, well, if did you, you ever walk that though? Make it up. No, I did not. When he goes to the factory, it's unwrapped. The TV show A Men Poor and Co. had a rebroadcast of a 2020 interview of the actor Cher. And she talked about how she directed a new (laughs) movie with a theme from the cult classic movie The Rocket Horror Picture Show. But she couldn't say anything about it because it's a big secret. But you think that you figured it out. Okay. It is way over my head. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and and enlighten us. Because I am not plugged into that corner of gossip. Yeah, I got nothing. I'm in for it as in um, Rory Gilmore's mentor. What's her name? I don't know. I'm in for it. Is it? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. A remake of Rocky mm-hmm. Horror? I love it. But Rocky Horror was so perfect. You can't, I know. You can't. It's a classic. They tried on Fox, remember? Yeah. Christiane, I'm in for it. Huh. I I don't know. Over my head. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I love Reese's. I also love, you know, Justine's uh, Reese's, like peanut butter cups. Have you ever had those? Is it not Justin's? <laughs> oh. No. I don't have our side. The Justin's or Justine's? I've always said Justine. Look it up. Justine's. Peanut butter cook. No. Yeah, Justin. Yeah, it's Justin's. Here's the thing, though. You've got to. A cursive S, which in my brain was always an E. That's what I always picture. It's a little E, Justine. <laughs> Sorry, Justin. I've been misgendering you for years. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. I'm not sure anyone could fill Tim Curry's shoes. I mean, in uh-huh. anything. And also, especially Rocky Horror. Um, oh. I have not seen the recent movie that came out titled See How They Run. Neither have I. But I was in a play called See How They Run in High School. That was one of my favorite experiences ever. ever. It was a British farce. Mm-hmm. And I played uh, a middle-aged, like, very religious woman who ended up accidentally getting wasted. and then There's Nothing like playing getting, middle-aged in high school. Loved it. And then I got punched out a few times, so I got to, like, pass out. I got to faint. I got to, like, wake up and be like, what? I was British, too. Oh, my God. It was the best. Yeah, I um, <laughs> I really loved that show. That was a really good one. <laughs> I love a first. Farces are farces are great. Anyway, so see how they run if you want to look up that play. I don't remember who it's by, but it's a very goofy British farce. And I have not seen that movie. Have you seen that movie? No. Is it a goofy British farce? <laughs> I would imagine not, considering who it's starring. But I don't know how to say her name. Oh, I would love to see that. Yeah. Here's the thing. The Rocky Horror Picture Show. Wait, Anthony Stewart Head, not Murray Stewart Head. Oh, yeah. Anthony Stewart Head is Giles from Buffy. Ooh, as Rocky. No, he would do great. You're right. Yeah. He would absolutely nail it. Oh, my friend. You know, as Frank Inferter? I would think so. Okay. Who else would he be? Well, she said as Rocky. Oh. Oh, has been Rocky. 
Oh, I, did, I just blew right past that part. When he was young and svelte. Okay. No, no, he'd be fun as Frankenfurter, I yeah. think. I think he has been. Oh. Oh, obviously, she's saying that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the Rocky Horror Picture Show is perfect and shouldn't be touched. The Rocky Horror Show is a stage musical, mm-hmm. and of course, it can, it can be, be redone at any time. <laughs> it can be touched. Hmm. I was getting him confused with his brother who did that song from Chess. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Anthony Wait. Stewart had as the what? What song from Chess? I don't remember the name. Help. But Chess was written by Abba. Is his brother in Abba? But Chess, the perform the soundtrack. Yeah. That's the guys from Abba. Abba wrote Chess. Did they all perform it on the soundtrack? No. No, no, no. They wrote it. Yeah, I know, but I'm talking about the recorded... The cast album? Yeah, there it is. Cast no. album. No. Oh, so was he in chess? One Night in Bangkok. When someone says he did the song, I think it means they wrote the song. That's fair. Who did that song? You know, sang it, I think. Just performed it. I, that's ringing a bell for me, too. I'm with you. But who knows? My brain is a sin these days. So, yeah. Oh. Sorry, I ate all of this. Oh, that's fine. I just realized there was a spoon sitting there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Kimberly and I have presents for each other. Bye. Let me Open up on screen. Christmas time. You are going to giggle at my wrapping job. Why? Because, uh, you can giggle at mine. It was lazy. <laughs> that sounds bad. Go ahead and open this up. You also have <laughs> We did the same thing! <laughs> also, I, uh, when I got here, there was a little package sitting outside the door, so uh, Jay opened it up, and I took things and put them in there just for more fun opening. Oh, One Night in Bangkok was one of the only ABBA songs in chess, but the guys from ABBA wrote the rest of the score. Got it. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. The movie See How They Run takes place in a play called The Mouse Trap, that is a long-running play in London. Okay, there was another interview so it is a British farce. on Amanpour, the producer of Mouse Trap, that talked about how the play is going to close and that might be turned into a movie over here in America. Yeah. And Cher is going to direct the movie adaptation of The Mouse Trap. Fun! Oh. Interesting. That is some fun hot goss. Thank you for sharing. That's the tea for tea time. Aha! <laughs> I got really turtles. I love turtles. Yeah. Yep, yep. And then... I already used one of the, <laughs> I already told her about this one. So my one of my students uh, I, that I've had for a really long time, I'm her <laughs> brother's sister, <laughs> plus spa day. We're going to go to a spa. Yeah. We got, I got a, a gift card. So we're going to get massages and then be pampered. It's going to be lovely. Okay. <laughs> so that's kind of the, you know, meat, meat of the gift. The rest is just fun, silly. That was in your... Oh, wait, I just, I just ordered for him something. Yeah. I'm like, I just bought this for myself. Yeah, it's for you. Oh, yeah, it came while Amanda got here, and so it's for me. The thermometer. Appropriate to open on stream. Yeah. And bought this for yourself. Um, Because I saw someone who got the William Sonoma advent calendar, oh. and this was in it. And you scoop powdered sugar, close it up, and then you just shake the powdered sugar. You need any more sugar. But no, we need just a little test. These are from... Super Chat Sarah! How are you doing? Oh, they match. Oh, good. They're little baking socks. This was a mistake. I am stuck. Oh, no. It's not happening. Oh, no. We've done it. Did it. Did it. Yes. Well, and they're teal and fun. And I know you have too many, but I got excited. Well, one's a from. I know. So, that's right. Mm. Fun shape. Well, they are. Yeah. Oh, and a good one. Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah, I actually good. I think they're good quality. The I read one them. that I've been used. Oh no, the other black one has too much give at the top. Mm-hmm. Like there's hey, too much. much. And this okay. one have some sturdiness. Is sturdy. Good. Thank you. Very good. Dirty spatula. Mm. Ellie with salted black. Oh yes, we did for a rip. I'm sorry, Ellie. I didn't like it, but I also don't like licorice, so. To be fair, <laughs> Barbara really liked it. <laughs> All right, I should. Okay, open. and then also raspberry yes. leaf tea that I will not drink until forty weeks pregnant. But wait, why? So it's for labor. This was on that list of things to get somebody in their second trimester. Oh yeah, you shouldn't drink this till you want to give birth. 
When I worked at a tea shop, we were not allowed to sell pregnant people anything with raspberry leaf. Oh, my Because if you drink it too early, it can cause a miscarriage. Because it makes your you so smart. And <laughs> let's go. It's a great thing to get somebody in their second trimester. I should have listened to Yeah, I have in their third trimester. Okay, great. I mean, let's see what it says. Yeah, and soothe period cramps. Huh. Healthy then and prepare for childbirth. Great, hold on to that. It's a sip as often as needed, but I really like I wasn't allowed to sell it to people. That's what I can think of. What did you do? I'm sorry. I'll look more into it, but they really don't worry. She knows her teas. Okay. I know my teas. So I won't drink that. No, but I will when I'm done. <laughs> when you rinse. Yes. Uh, I'm impatient to be coming on. That's it. That's it. No, no. We need to wait until it's ready. Mm-hmm. Can't this thing. Cook it in your Dutch oven. <laughs> Aww. So Barbara gave me a Dutch oven for, for Christmas, and now I know what to cook in it, which I have yet to use it, so I'm actually... There's so many recipes. Oh, oh my God, this looks so good. I know. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm hungry. Hopefully. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. That's a good one. You missed that. Oh. There's a little bit of Yeah. Okay. And let me get one of mine to demonstrate. Okay. Open it up. The trivet. Okay. That's kind of weird. I told you. <laughs> like when you like put a hot pan down, you put something oh, underneath sure. it. Sure. Okay. Look. <gasps> it's magnetic. And so you can take it out of the oven, put it on the thing, and then if you need to move it to the table, it is connected. So you don't have to spill anything because you're trying to hold a trivet. Yeah. That's very clever. That's a very good design. Oh my goodness. That's so fun. Thank you. You're welcome. I love it. I love to get in accessory to things I know people have and love. That's, you know, that's very clever. I was sitting there, like, agonizing over what to get you. I could have just gotten you a pasta maker for your KitchenAid. Oh, other nice <laughs> <long> time. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is fun. I mix it into for the spa. Yes, that'll be fun. We have to schedule that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nope. <laughs> explaining to Adam what a trivet was and then in addition what a magnetic trivet was <laughs> was really fun. <laughs> what do you got a man? He was like, what? <laughs> you don't know, like when you take things out and then you put them on the table he's like, no. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could have gotten up. I was going to no. 13. I'm I'm smelling. smelling. It smells really nice. Cool. Me too. All right. Oh, Adam. Wait. I can post some pictures. For... Oh, yes. Please do tag me. We're <laughs> very embarrassed. Wait. What did I say? Why are you there? You're there. Oh, so Adam. Oh, Dad. No, it's like, what did we just talk about? Oh, Adam and his... We get it. We get it. <laughs> Not knowing what a trivet was. No, what a trivet was. No, what the word was. I didn't know what the word I didn't know what the word was. I did know what, you know, you know. We, we, what, you just never knew the name of the thing. No, I didn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Plants is hard. <laughs> oh, man. Just fine. Well, once, I, I, once I explained it, he was like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Cooking question. Are food dehydrators all the hype that they're cracked up to be? I am not the person to answer that question. If you, like, want to make freeze-dried fruit. Is that all they do? I mean, they just dehydrate things. Okay. So I don't know why you would do want that. Like, yeah. you do watch, remember, like, when Claire Saffitz worked up on a petite and she was doing all those, like, yeah. pastry chef makes a fancy version of? hmm She used a dehydrator a lot to get the right texture of, like, candy. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I guess it depends on what you're trying to do. We're kind of not that mode. We no. are, let's, you know, throw easy, fancy, fun things together. And I'm not, like, dehydrating something overnight so that I can make my own freeze-dried strawberry. No. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think... They're also gigantic. Are they? I think. I've never seen them. You know what I did? Uh, what's... Oh. Uh, sous vide? Oh, yeah. 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 It's kind of fun. That looks kind of fun. Um, My friend Sage... And Ryan, my friends Sage and Ryan, mm-hmm. made me some steak in a sous vide. It's like a bath. Yeah. Or, and it, like, is a more even cook, I guess. And then you sear it after the fact? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. It was absolutely the best I've ever had. It was very, very good. It like keeps all of them. That could be fun. A dehydrated fine. <laughs> dehydrated steam is the <laughs> great person to answer this question. A dehydrator is fine if you want to do it a lot, but you can also use an oven if you're dehydrating occasionally. That's a good point. Yeah, just like about, really low temperature, yeah, right, for a long just time. A long time, which like, oh, interesting. Could you use a dehydrator for like a meringue? In theory, I don't know. Hmm. Or would it just? Because it's not necessarily. It, it is about drying it out. Yeah, like that is what you're doing when you're baking a meringue, right? Oh, you fetishing? You have a sous vide? <gasps> what else do you make? Well, yeah, what do you love to make in your sous vide? Do you have one of the big pots or you just use a pot? What? Like those big plastic tubs is what I that's what That's what Ryan and Sam have. <laughs> just use like a big pot that you happen to have on it. <laughs> that's really funny. Yeah. Some things that seem like too sciencey, like sous vide, I'm just like, I'd get really into it, and then I would never use it again. Yeah, that's fair. Well, and especially in a city apartment. Thing. Yeah. You know. And, like, when I think about, like, people who make jam mm-hmm. and, like, Barbara who makes pickles and stuff that yes. is canned, like, that is too much for me. I would just be convinced I'm giving myself botulism. <laughs> uh, sous vide fried chicken is the best fried chicken, especially for Nashville. Wait, how do you fry mm-hmm. sous vide? What, you how do you use it? And then... It's, it's... But how does it get crispy? I don't know. <laughs> how does it crisp? I wonder if some of the thinner brownies need to be done. Hmm. What you... This is my, my wonder. It's not been in there. I don't see anything. Let's see. Those cookies look done, too. See the edges? Mm-hmm. Huh. I mean, we did have it at a slightly higher temperature than the... When you looked at a brookie recipe, was it in a pan like this, or was it in a big pan? No, it was in a big pan. So that would take longer, because it's in a big thing. That's true. Do you want that, or do you want... Is there a chopstick? Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's moist. Here's the thing. I'm smelling doneness in, yeah, my, the, in the nose, done. and the cookies look done. And they'll keep cooking a little in the pan. That's true. I guess we're coming out, guys. Look, okay. like in 20 minutes. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, wait. Oh, this one. Well, now they have to cool for two hours. <laughs> yeah. And just kidding. Before slicing and sharing. Starting with the instructor. However, no need to slice. Oh, well, yeah, fun. I'm holding a pen. What do you have this? In the same way. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, see, I don't care, but now we can actually sit and chill while they... Yeah, mm-hmm. would you like that beverage of any? I can make a tea? Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, what would you like? I mean... You have grapefruit juice. Jake, can we drink all your grapefruit juice? <laughs> Just kidding, he'll oh. come. No, I have other things. What's, what else you got? We could do tea, we could do... Are you wanting to, like, not like, like a white cloth? Let's get to stay. Those are some hot things. Yeah, don't stick well. What can I have that's going to hold it? Oh, well, we can also just have water. Or. Or. Would you like a strawberry lemonade? Yes! Okay. Fun fact, you can cook chicken under 165 in a sous vide. That is interesting. And it won't kill you? I guess not. Jesse loves making jams and pickles and stuff, and the canning process is actually really simple. You know what? My family actually does pickles. And I have firsthand been a part of the canning. And do you hurt yourself? I do not. But I've also, like, definitely we've got it down to, like, a science. But it's a it's a very old school science. Mm-hmm. There's, like, tongs. There's all these things. And it's very, like, hot. It's very hot. I have seen jars break before. There definitely has been, like, and my brother took it on. And he, in Tulsa, with his family, made pickles this last year. Like, there, there are ways to do it. It is very intimidating. I don't know that I would do it myself. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. We're just making, well, we made party girl brownies, and now we're going to have some lemonade. We're not canning. Oh, we're talking canning, yes. Because we were talking about a sous vide. My brother I mean, makes homemade make pickles. Intimidated. Mrs. Pasta says the, uh, her brother makes homemade pickles, and they're the best she's ever had. 
Um, yeah, I mean, homemade pickles are incredible. Barbara makes amazing ones. She makes a uh, little, what, what are those called? Uh, bread, bread, butter. Oh, yeah, they're in there. Bread, bread, bread and butter. Bread and butter pickles. Um, and my, my family makes dill pickles, so they're like honking huge, and we slice them up really thinly and, you know, have them for special occasions. What's that? I don't know. That's too sure. That smells good, though. Is that Rexy? Mm. Oh. Eight months. Good lord. Aw, we're happy to have you. We are we're taking this year by storm. We have been uh talking about big plans. We're gonna bring back the Pinterest stream. We're gonna put a brownie batter. Oh no. <laughs> well, which is probably fine. Yeah. Better than anything else. Yeah. Here it goes. Get it. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you have uh, I am currently fermenting some jalapenos, pickles, and onions in grenadine and red wine vinegar for burgers. Blacksmith, you contain multitudes. I'm fascinated. Thank you for sharing all of your interesting cooking things. I'm so intimidated by cooking. I've been doing the the Hello Fresh stuff. Well, baking is different, though. Oh yeah, baking I find so different. Cooking, I feel like there's so much more, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's, like, I was about to say, like, there's more ingredients or more, like, techniques, but, like, there are plenty of that for baking, and I'm yeah. not intimidated by that. There's more, like, and then season it to your, like, your, to your liking. And I'm like, don't tell me what my liking is. Tell me how much seasoning to put in. <laughs> what is it supposed to taste like? Give me an A. <laughs> That's what Jay's favorite thing is to just tell everyone that I want an A plus in being pregnant. And I was like, I want an A plus in everything. Yeah. I mean, reasonable. <laughs> What's the latest thing you wanted an A plus in? Oh, when we were talking about if I should buy a fetal Doppler heart monitor. Oh, yes. <laughs> like when I was asking what's your question. Yep. Yep, yep. <laughs> and, ooh, peach salsa. That sounds awesome. Mm. It's all about the mad scientist aspect for me. I just love it. Oh, and Barbara says, do not be intimidated by canning. Hold on. I use hot jars from the dishwasher, hot pickles from the pot, put the hot lids on, turn upside down. The jars seal themselves after about five minutes. My family does not do it that smoothly. That sounds really simple. Yeah. That's like, I feel mad scientist about baking, though. Yeah. Something about, like, throwing the things together and, like, ah, maybe it's, I don't know. It feels a little bit more like you're putting everything together for one thing as opposed to, like, you're making a meal. Maybe that's what I get intimidated on. There's, like, so many different timing things and, like, managing textures and, and temperatures and stuff like that. Yeah, get so either a meal, maybe, is what's tricky. Maybe that's what I mean. Menu prep. Yeah, so menu prep, having enough ingredients, having, like, the right cooking. Feeding form. enough people. Yeah. Like, when you're making cookies, you're like, people eat a cookie or two. Yes. And also, like, <laughs> if they don't like it, I know I will like it. Yeah. So I... Yeah. It's interesting. Oh, and kiwi. Oh. Raspberry salsa, kiwi salsa. Oh, my God. It depends on how acidic what you're canning is. Oh. Interesting. Why acid? Is that, like, has to have to do with the, like, vacuum seal process? Working back of house for five years just went nanner boats for, and it took it with me, cooking life. I love that, Blacksmith. That's great. Oh, my gosh. Pickles in a mason jar and a sous vide. You guys are all really fancy. Slash, you must all have a lot of cabinetry. <laughs> Yeah. A single other thing here. One stream should be you helping me figure out where to put bottles. I mean, we could do like a reorganization stream if we could figure it out. Not that I have any skill for that, but we could get help. You would just be help. I feel like I always need like one person with me when I'm reorganizing stuff. Yeah. Because I just, how I organize mm -hmm. is I take everything out mm -hmm. and then I put it back. Mm -hmm. And some things don't get put back. That's correct. And they go away. Yep. Good morning. It is what causes the ceiling. Habanero jam. Mm, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. I, I like being support gal system for organizing. If you need me to take lead and know how to organize things, I'm glad I can go because I'll have watched 25 videos before we begin. <laughs> <laughs> I want an A+. Plus. You're going to ask, listen. The acidity just determines the best canning process to ensure the food is safely preserved. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, that's the other part is there's ways to do it unsafely and then, like, poison people. Mm -hmm. And that hurts me. That's the part that I get a little, like, hell no. Poison anyone. Oh, one year my dad, I, was it my dad or, like, somebody in the family making the pickles forgot the, the cucumbers? No. <laughs> 
forgot the brine. And so they were just like, converse, like, there's dry. Or they weren't dry. They were like floppy. They, they didn't. Because what did you put in the fan? Well, it just, it's just, so it, it's a little bit, it's it's almost like a baking powder. It looks like, it's just like a little. Mm-hmm. So I guess, I mean, Brian is the whole Brian. liquid. No, it is. Uh, okay. Like you got like the salt or citric acid. No, it's something. It's something. Maybe it wasn't. Oh God, it, yeah. Shoot. What am I thinking of? Anyway, there's some sort of like, <laughs> my brain went into talcum powder. It's not talcum powder. But it's a little powder that you put in and it like makes it's everything fire. hard. I'll stop. Anyway, it was a bad batch. The very bad. Cool. What else? <laughs> oh, God. We had a really funny moment because my brother started making his own pickles this year. And his wife, Kathleen, we were all hanging out at my dad's house for Christmas. And, like, she was chopping up some pickles. And she turned to my brother. Because dad's pickles are bigger than yours. He, of course, you know, blushed bright red and all that. And then Kathleen's like, Fern, oh, Jack, you like I'm not. Kathleen, oh, you would something I would love, love her. You would absolutely love her. Like, I like when I almost made a joke about you and Adam being robots, which was just going to be, well, because you are each other. His mother's here. Because I was thinking of, like, Tin Man. And I was like, well, you probably know him. was like, that's not what we met. I just meant you know each other's little creatures. Little bots. Yes, we do. Uh, someone told me that if you could do baking, cooking is easy. Baking is basically science or chemistry. Cooking recipes are more like a guideline. So it's a mindset. Then. It is a mindset. And I think it's also what you said. It's the it's the planning and the prep, the like, and, and also it's an event. Yeah. Whereas like. And sometimes you have to be there more often. Oh, yeah. Like it's more. Active. If I put a cake in the oven, it's just in the oven for an hour. But if I have to, like, keep an eye on something so it doesn't scorch the bottom of my pan, mm-hmm. I won't do that. <laughs> and then I will well. scorch the bottom of my pan. Pectin Pectins? No. Oh. He he left out an ingredient. And I don't remember what it was. It's a little powder. It's like, it, like, looks like. <laughs> How to Google. It's like, what makes pickles? Recipe here. for homemade dill pickles. Pickle. Powder. I bet somebody has distilled pickle. Like, Wait, you can buy that pickle pickles. seasoning. Mm. That sounds great. Yeah, I that sounds awesome. Awesome. You know what we should try? We should try making, like, chips. Oh, yeah. Like, gluten-free, like, chips or things or, like, something. I have tried to make potato chips, and it has never gone well. But I did once make tortilla chips. Jay, remember? It's one of the hardest he's ever left in the middle of the pandemic. Well, they came out very good because you just, like, chop up tortillas. Right. And you fry them. Yeah. And we were, like, got through a phase of frying. It was fun in the early, early COVID. Maybe. Random layered alum powder? Alum powder. <gasps> there it is. I literally just looked up pickle powder. Pickle powder. He forgot the alum. And, uh, yeah. Well, Jay does remember. A problem. I see a little friend. Crawled up the wall. Oh, I can't see it. Yeah, it's behind the bag right oh, now. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. I learned to cook at lower temps for longer times. Oh, I used to burn and dry out food so much that I started doing that. Yeah. Oh. If you cook the time, if you're all bad, I saw that. Um, then I guess, Did yeah. Kill it? Okay. I just, I just, I'm like <laughs> distracted. Like, ooh, it's a, it's a little friend. Is there a mouse update? I've never seen the mouse again. Oh. I think perhaps I made it up. <laughs> I was literally like sitting at the table, um, finishing a Broad Wasted episode, mm-hmm. and I swear to you, a mouse crawled out from behind this island, mm-hmm. paused between the island and the hutch, thing, Okay, stared at me, yeah, and then went under the thing, and then we never found him, so I'm just convinced he just like crawled out of the door, because they were doing construction on the apartment next door. Yep, but that makes sense. Or, I'm hallucinating. Right, hallucinating mouse, which oh, could have happened. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. No mouse. Anyway, one time I made for tortilla chips, and I mm-hmm. we made so many, and I didn't know what to put them in. And somehow the first thing that came to my mind was to look at Jango. I could put them in the blender. We had the blades on our old apartment. I have the blender like out on the thing, and I was like, "That was a lid." I could. Put it in the so you thought I meant to blend? Yeah. 
such a big, such a big lid. That's funny. Anyway, yeah. You know, sometimes my mind <laughs> makes a decision and says it out loud. Mm-hmm. And I am laugh. And makes Jay laugh. And Jay has the best laugh. And it is the most fun oh, yeah. to make you laugh, Jay. And she'll see, it is a kitchen to her. Ah, it's a lid. Also, we the smoothie. I had fried tortilla chips. There was no smoothie <laughs> being made. Oh, fine. We have strawberry lemonade. Yeah, it's very tasty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he said hot stuff's not been super happy. Yeah, it was a little black, Quentin. Good. Good. Good to see ya. We made party brownies. We're just waiting for them to uh, cool, and then we're going to try them. How are they doing? They're kind of cool. Should we try them? Yeah. Jay, would you like a party girl br- browns? <laughs> party girl brownie or breakfast? I don't know. I should hallucinate it. I was trying to abbreviate it. All right. Okay. I feel like the best example of this is going to be something like that guy. Yeah. That feels the most... Yeah. Just look at that. It's like, look at that. Look at that. Should we cut it in half? I'll do Okay. Bye. Can we bring Charlotte back? Yeah. Oh, she's low on battery. E freak. E freak. All right. You know what? I think my nose was absolutely right. These are exactly... The right amount of cooked. Okay, let's look. It's the party girl brownie. Yahoo! Yahoo! All right, so it has cookie, then Oreo, then brownie. Last try here. Let's show you a picture. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Want one, Jay? I want one. <laughs> Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Here it comes. Oh, we had gluten-free Oreos. They make gluten-free ones now. They come in a white bag. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. See, you have to bite all the way into the Oreo. It's still kind of crispy. Is there a way to like soak it in milk before I understand something? No, I think that would be weird. Mm. But looks delicate. Oh my. It's still a little warm. Which ones have Reese's salad one looking mm-hmm. like? That one. <laughs> All right. Would you like a plate? Uh, <laughs> no. What? Thank you. Perhaps a fork? Mm. Park your brownies. Mm-hmm. So you're stuck Reese's in it? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it good? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Can I see the insides? Mmm. Mmm. I stole the people. <laughs> Look, <that's not> good. <laughs> They're a little delicate. I think that's the... the that's like the melted chocolate. Yeah. Well, and it, and it doesn't have gluten in it, which, like, yeah, I think the structure of it is going to be a little tender, but... Mmm. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I want to try a Reese's one. Want to try a Reese's one? Okay. Mm-hmm. These are decadent. <laughs> That's why they're party girl brownies. Ooh. <laughs> I think this is a Reese's one. Let's see. The most just used bits. How can you tell which one has an Oreo in it? I want to know. Uh, <laughs> It's almost as if you had two pans. Yeah, we could have. Yep. This side. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Looks like Reese's, right? Yeah. Okay. It doesn't look like an Oreo. It does not. I'm excited for this. I've never tried this before. Ooh. I think, like, the top mm-hmm. of the Reese's melting mm-hmm. is what is making the it top fall off. Yeah. Which, once it's cool... Mm-hmm. Oh, I think I like the Oreo one better. Yeah, I do. It's less sweet. Yeah, I mean it's still tasty. It's still 
Mm-hmm. 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 So, Pam, we're ready right now. <laughs> I just realized I'm wearing a Jiffa Pony with that internal motion. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Tracy, very large sweet tooth. And these are your. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everything. Oh They're God. very tasty, but they are very rich. That brownie recipe is good. I don't say someone just brown. I'll put I'll put them all in the in the um where where is it? Discord. Yeah, these are Ooh. Oh, fit. You're gonna be too like, Yeah, this is the first TV. Wait, is this the first TV in time? I just got up and started editing and then I just forgot to eat. <laughs> Good. <laughs> well, <laughs> what you, what can I get you for yeah. dinner? How about let's make something yummy? No, we'll work on them. Okay. I'm cooking tonight. We all, of course not. We got it. We got it. We cooked once in this kitchen today, and uh, many. Yeah, we got to plan the week. Yeah. Mm. Well, nom nom nom. But that's very sweet. Fett said, "I have a sweet tooth too." That's why I married Mrs. Pasta. Oh. That is so much. Yeah. No, no I can't eat anymore. Oh, that's uh, here's the thing. Here's what I think. Here's what I think these are great. If you need a one and done treat, yeah. If you need a treat, like if you can only have one, like you're trying to cut down on your sweets, mm-hmm. like I'm gonna eat one thing. This should be like, well, that scratches the itch. I'm done. I'm done for the rest of the day on sweet things. Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Whoa, I'm buzzing, you know. I'm buzzing. Mm. Very well done, ladies. Very well done. Ew. That was yummy. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. But yeah, I can't eat much more than one half of those. It's gonna be a no. good year streaming. I'm very I'm very excited I'm very excited for what you. you guys are gonna make in this kitchen. Yeah. I'm very proud of you both. You? Let's let's make producer Jay. Let's make some good streams and a good baby. <laughs> both things. I can't help you with the, the second one, but I'll I'll make a good stream. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, on that note. Yeah, me too. Wow. <laughs> a little pretty cool. I'm fine. <laughs> I see. We snorted it. Yeah. <laughs> IV style. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I think on that delightful, yeah, great mm-hmm. high notes, we did make that beanie that he's wearing. Oh, did you? Yes. No. That's nice. A long time ago. I don't remember when. Hmm. When I knit more. I'd only ever knitted scarves. Mm-hmm. Not very. I did scarves and hats. Really? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah scarves and hats. I'm making a blanket right now. Or is it, babe? Oh, just cute. But my hands have been hurting. Because did you also know that a pregnancy symptom slash complication can be carpal tunnel? Yeah. Fun. Because the baby just steals all of your bones <laughs> to make its own bones. Of course, you can take it out. No. Oh, it's on my dresser. I am start. I am not happy with the amount of nose I keep getting. Uh-oh. All right, y'all. I have a no bones day. All right, babies. Scat and see, continue. You you were here. Um, yes, the baby steals everything. Everything. Like very cute little parasite. <laughs> All right, your body's made to do this. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. I will take my vitamins and drink some milk. Yeah. All right. We love you all. We will be back uh, next week, and we will also what have a. Oh, yeah. If you have any thoughts, throw them in the recipe suggestions. Do, like random TikTok hacks. Like random things I've seen. It's fun. Yeah. Okay. Also, we're so more. Tune in next week. <laughs> or something. Oh, okay. A little Perfect. focaccia. Like the little focaccia and a little white pan. Love make that. sandwiches. Oh, yeah. yeah focaccia. <laughs> okay, we'll be there. And this uh, VOD should be up on the YouTubes on Thursday. So look out for that. Love you all. Bye. (laughs) Bye.